17 News is your local election headquarters, and this morning, we're looking at the results from last night's primary election. Votes are still being counted at this hour, although we're getting a good look at the top vote getters in many races in Kern and across California. The results will determine which two candidates will face off in November's general election. We have a lot to get to this morning, but we begin with 17's political reporter, Maddie Gannon, who's breaking down what we know so far and the significance of the results. Maddie? Maddie, Alex, it could be days before we have final results in many of these races, but there's a lot to take away from the votes that we have so far. And we should note our candidates are facing brand new districts for the first time in a decade after the process of redistricting was completed this winter. This is the first time we are seeing any of these votes come in from these new lines. So let's dive into it, starting with the new 20th Congressional District you can see here. Let's take a look at the political changes to the district. Previously, Republicans out-registered Democrats here by about 10%. Redistricting gave the GOP a big boost here. Republicans now edge out Democrats by about 21%. Moving to the results that we have so far, Kevin McCarthy, of course, the Republican incumbent who is currently House Minority Leader, leads with about 56% of the vote this morning. McCarthy will move on to the November general election, and he released a statement last night thanking the voters in the 20th district. We're still waiting to see who will be challenging him in November, but right behind him in the vote, we have Democrat Fairfax Junior High teacher Marisa Wood with 27% of the vote. The other Democrat in this race, Ben Duell, takes third place right now. Then the Two Republican candidates, James Davis and Jim McCulley, rounded out with a small portion of the vote each. We talked about this before, but some key important points here. This is a very significant election for McCarthy. Not as much for his re-election chances here in Kern, but if the GOP picks up enough House seats nationwide, McCarthy is in line to be Speaker. And moving to the 22nd Congressional District, in the old district you can see here behind me, Democrats had a 16.2% registration edge over Republicans in the new district district, Democrats got a very marginal boost, now leading Republicans with 16.67% registration edge. And here's what we have so far. The AP is calling Rudy Salas will move on to the runoff election in November. He currently leads the pack of candidates here with 46.8% of the vote. We still don't know who Salas will face in November, but currently the Republican incumbent David Valadeo is next in the vote with 26%. The other two Republicans, Chris Matisse and Adam Medeiros, splitting the rest of the vote here so far. This is a very interesting race. It's one of the most competitive in the nation this year. As we just saw a minute ago, Democrats have a sound registration edge over Republicans, but Democrats have come out to the polls in very small numbers previously. That's part of the reason why we've seen Valadeo be able to represent this seat in Congress for so many terms. Looking at the vote we have so far, Democrats appear to be turning out for Salas. On the Republican side, Valadeo has received backlash from the GOP in his district for his vote to impeach former President Donald Trump. Matisse and Medeiros have tailored their campaigns around their support for the former president. But Trump didn't weigh in on this race and endorse a challenger to Valadeo as he did for the other House Republicans who voted to impeach him. It appears so far, voters in the 22nd District are supporting Valadeo over Matisse and Medeiros. Now let's go to the state Senate and take a look at the 16th Senate District. Previously, Democrats here had a very strong registration edge over Republicans, leading the GOP by a 19% margin after redistricting in that district over there. You can see it's still solidly blue, but that, that, in, that decreased from 19% to 12% margin. So let's go to the results that we have as of this morning. Republican farmer from Porterville, David Shepard, leads the crowded field here with 42% of the vote. He's trailed by Democrats, current state Senator Melissa Hurtado and former Assembly Member Nicole Parra with 31% and 14% of the vote respectively. Rounding out the race right now is Republican Pastor Gregory Tatum with 8% and Democrat Mayor of Delano, Delano Brian Azorio with 4% of the vote. Of course, it's still early in the counting, but some key insights we can take away so far. As mentioned, this is a Democrat majority district, but Republican and political newcomer Shepard has run away with the vote so far. Right now, it appears redistricting could have made this district a little friendlier to the GOP. Hurtado and Para have had a heated campaign season, publicly feuding. So far, Hurtado is edging out Para. The top two vote getters in this district, regardless of party affiliation, will face off in November. The last race we're gonna take a quick look at here, the 12th Senate district. 
district before redistricting Republicans out-registered Democrats here by about 12 percent. The GOP got another big gain after redistricting here. Republicans now lead in registration by about a margin of 18 percent. The results as of this morning, incumbent Shannon Grove leads with about 64 percent of the vote. She is being challenged by Democrat Suzanne Gundy, who right now has about 36 percent of the vote. Both candidates will move on to November's runoff because there were only two candidates. But this is a good indicator of the results we might expect to see in the general election in November. If Grove prevails, this is, will be her last term in the state legislature due to term limits. All right, Maddie, um, I don't know there's a lot of speculation going into these races and it's sometimes hard to, to kind of gauge what's going to happen in our local races, our true local races, because there's not as much polling and so forth like what we see on the national level. Uh, what is your biggest takeaway though? on the results that we saw overnight. The 16th Senate District is pretty surprising here. This, of course, as we just talked about, is a Democrat majority district. Uh, both Hurtado and Para are well-known Democrats here. Hurtado is the, considered the incumbent. Para has been a Bakersfield Assembly member. But we're seeing the Republican political newcomer right now really leading the pack of votes. He's taking it so far, and so that's a bit surprising. Of course, he does have the endorsement of Kern's best-known Republicans, McCarthy.